we talk about hiring, but a lot of times you don't get to see behind the curtain to hear what happens and to see what happens when a new team member is brought on board. And today, I want you to hear a live uh, inside a group coaching call. You have to pardon my microphone on this call. For some reason, I had the wrong mic toggled, uh, so it sounds really hollow and kind of disgusting. But, uh, but you will hear on the other end, this is one of our heroic small business owners, has just made her very first full-time W-2 hire. Now, she's had a lot of 1099s over the years, but this is her first in-house W-2 hire that she has made, and we are so ecstatic for her. And I want you to not only hear from her, but I also want you to hear from her new hire. Uh, they both were on our call at the same time, so we got to celebrate them. You'll get to hear a little bit of that celebration uh, as we literally give them a round of applause on an online group coaching call, which is kind of interesting. But I want you to hear in the background the insight uh, as to what they've done to make sure that the onboarding process goes really, really well so that everybody can be liberated from the chaos of working in their business. As always, if we can help you, go to four steps to businessfreedom.com. Listen in on this powerful, powerful, real time, real life in the trench call with a brand new hire for one of these heroic small business owners that we have the privilege of being able to help liberate from their chaos. Hey, Jen, Kendra, both, just give us an update on the first few days. Like, how's it going? Um, I think it's going really well. She's definitely scheduling time to sit with me and talk to me and make sure that I understand the business and the process and the clients. Um, And that's what we're focusing on mainly this week is the clientele. Um, Just getting to know everybody, letting everybody know that, hey, I am here. This is it. Um, And then from there, we're going to move on to a more in-depth perspective of the business. And I think we'll start that next week once I've, because I've familiarized myself this week, and then we'll move on to a little bit more in-depth stuff next week. That's awesome. So this is really interesting for everybody, I think, because um, Kendra was in a situation where she had a position somewhere where she felt good and comfortable, but then um, was not really trained, just thrown into the the mix. And um, eventually... um, uh, uh, I'm super glad that it didn't work out, obviously. But um, uh, will you tell them what you told me the other day? I made I made a small error in um, I overpaid a vendor, and I didn't realize that because she had taken a bill and paid it on her end, and then I got the same bill in. I got the statement, so I went ahead and I covered that. So I double paid them not realizing it. And she said it was just best that I move on because she didn't have the time to train me. And she just figured she'd let it go or let me go. And I could go, which it worked out because I spent the summer with my children, but she was just better off doing it herself because she couldn't time management herself. So she didn't have the time to train me. And that's what it boils down to. Wow. Having all these processes in place um, ahead of time has been I feel like super beneficial in that now I know I've got to make sure that Kendra is like up to speed, trained um, effectively so that um, it does, you know, I, I, that just really stinks for that other person who wanted somebody to help her, but didn't efficiently take the time to train them. And that's what, that's what I had like ultimately think. Jen for was that she was taking the time, even if she had to write it down in her schedule, she took time specifically to sit with me and talk with me and work with me. And I, I thanked her for it. I said, this is, this is what means a lot to me and how I can thrive her because of her efforts for me. Awesome. So you feel like she's giving you the responsibility for those things. She's giving you the, the, the power it takes to do all of them and, mm-hmm. and the knowledge and backing you up on it. Exactly. Yes. And and she's also not afraid to be like, Hey, we can work more here as well. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Man, that is, that's, uh, that's the best news I've heard so far. This hey, week. can everybody come off mute? Let's give Jen and Kendra a round of applause virtually because this is, this is fantastic. So well done. Well done. I know it's awkward coming uh, online, but I, Jen, we, we could not be prouder of you for how you're doing this. Um, well done. I could have done this like a year ago. I would have just been a space cadet. I just really couldn't. So, um, uh, you know, it's, I, I was talking to Carrie, you know, Carrie, um, yesterday about just how many different things in a year's time has been changed. And just like that, after loads of hard work 
and implementation, Jen has gone from being a heroic small business owner who was swimming in chaos, surrounded by chaos and embracing it, to a business owner who is thinking with intentionality and focus and actually implementation of everything that she's worked through in the Four Steps to Business Freedom program. If we can serve you, go to fourstepstobusinessfreedom.com. Let's hop on the phone and let's see how we might be able to support you. We'll see you next time right here on the Business on Purpose podcast.